वेलकम टू द प्रोजेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ बैटरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विद पैसिव सेल बैलेंसिंग सो हियर वी नो दट सेल बैलेंसिंग इज द टू टाइप्स वन इज द पैसिव सेल बैलेंसिंग अनदर इज एक्टिव सेल बैलेंसिंग पैसिव सेल बैलेंसिंग इज चेकिंग ऑफ द बैटरी सेल वोल्टेज एंड मेक द अदर बैटरी वोल्टेज लेवल्स टू दैट मीन्स बी वन बी टू एंड बी थ्री इफ द बी वन वोल्टेज इज लेस देन द रिमेनिंग बैटरी वोल्टेज इज कंसिडर वी आर यूजिंग द ईच सेल वोल्टेज ऑफ ट्वेल्व वोल्ट so if this battery pack is showing the voltage of 8 volts and these two are 12 volts 12 volts then by adding the load to that by resistor so here for showing the demonstration purpose we kept the leds so if we place the resistors we can't show the power consumption that so directly we place the leds as a resistor loads then whenever the resistor load adds the so called resistance will be applied parallel to this battery pack and the voltage will be drops till the voltage is equal to the low battery voltage for the uh, low cell low battery voltage for the respective cell so the purpose of this passive cell balancing is in order to maintain the soc state of charging and uh, whenever the battery voltage is less uh, then this for example it's show, it showing the 8 volts and these two are the 12 volts so coming to the soc it will considering as 12 volts is the maximum voltage so that it can't charge that if you keep in charging that also it will reach up to 14.5 it is come to the 8 to around 10 volts so the remaining 2 volts can't be charged as the soc considering that the battery is fully charged the battery pack is fully charged so in order to maintain the soc then we'll make the other batteries also to the same voltage level for the low voltage uh, cell voltage means 8 volts only and the remaining battery voltage also come down to 8 volts by adding the resistors means by adding the load to the respective battery packs so the microcontroller will on the uh, so called loads to re uh, reduce the voltages this is called the resistor bleeding concept so that the battery voltage will comes down to the near to this battery pack le uh, which has the less voltage so the soc is going to be the considering as it will keep on the batteries charging then all the batteries will charge together and all the batteries will reach as the maximum voltage at a time so we can maintain the state of charging by uh, maintaining the same voltage in the battery pack so that will be achieved with the help of this electromagnetic relays by uh, two on and off this loads to the respective battery packs and the voltage is continuously measured with the help of this two three voltage resistor sensors each voltage sensors consist of 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm which is act as a potential divider circuit and that output is going to be the uh, 10 is 1 ratio if we provide 12 volts inputs the output of the voltage sensor is going to be the 1.2 volts so inside the microcontroller we write the logic as multiply the input voltage which is output coming from this uh, voltage sensor so by multiplying that we will get the exact voltage so the multiplication is going to be the 10 times of input voltage from the voltage sensor so that is continuously displayed on the lcd screen and also one more feature is like we continuously monitor the uh, battery pack temperature with the help of this temperature sensor so whenever the battery pack temperature is greater than the 43 degree centigrade then automatically buzzer will get switched on and parallelly the coolant fan will get switched on through this microcontroller so coming to the interfacing connections so temperature sensor interface to the a0 and a1 A2, A3 respectively for the voltage sensors. C5, C6, C7 for the electromagnetic relays and buzzer connected to the C4. And uh, LCD is connected to pin number B2 to B7. So let us see the demonstration. Once we are on the gates, a welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. And after that, it start displaying the voltage levels of. battery pack one so p1 p2 p3 represent the battery pack one battery pack two battery pack three voltages okay and here this is going to be the soc soh values so we need to wait for an 10 to uh, 15 seconds to calculate the soc and soh values so once we get them then i will apply the uh, like low voltage from the any one of the battery packs will take some time let it continue let's let's go with the uh, like uh, this one isolating the battery pack one so when we isolate that then automatically the microcontroller will on the loads to the battery pack one and battery pack two so as i isolate the battery pack three that's why 
now the tr controller trying to reduce the voltage of the remaining battery packs by adding the load only because already it has a low voltage so it won't on the load to this one remaining only will get on and trying to reduce the respective voltages now just on this back let's come into the normal again same for the battery pack 3 also sorry battery pack 2 and this is a battery pack 1 in this manner the system will balance the cells by using passive cell balancing technique by using these LEDs as a load for them so we can use the resistors the resistance values based on the battery pack voltages and current we will uh, decide the resistor values and then we will add them with the help of this relays so in real time directly the relays will be replaced with the MOSFETs and uh, so that the circuit size will be reduced so when we using the relays it's going to be the real time application for the high rating batteries as we are using this relays for uh, around 10 amps batteries also can be uh, handled by this electromagnetic relays